Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ryan from iMobile Rescue. I wanted to do this video to show you soldering the iPad mini home flex cable to the digitizer. Let me first start off by saying, you know, I'm the co-founder and president of iMobile Rescue, but I also work on repairs. I have my hands on devices, especially new devices like iPad mini, where I want to see how they work and do it myself so that I can train any technicians that work on them that we deal with or that we hire. So um, I feel your pain, whether you're a repair company or your DIYer, and like you've always been able to do iPads in the past or iOS devices in the past, and now you're like, what? Like, there's a touch controller, a Broadcom IC chip that you have to solder to the digitizer? Like, it's insane, and I feel your pain, and it's crazy. Hopefully, the iPad mini second generation won't have this craziness, um, but we'll see. So, in the meantime, um, you got to do it. If you have to do it, here's how you do it. We'll show soldering the, uh, the, the IC chip onto the digitizer in another tutorial, which we'll do soon and put it up. But, uh, but for now we'll do the home flex cable. So I got a soldering iron. It's a, uh, it's a, I think it's pronounced IU. It's spelled A-O-U, uh, correction, A-O-Y-U-E 937 plus. That's the sort of nomenclature or the brand name of this this uh, soldering iron. Um, so we got it, and uh, you know it, it's it's pretty awesome. It comes with a great tip. It's temperature controlled. It comes with this station where you can actually digitally control the temperature, and it's pretty awesome. Also comes with this so that you can clean the soldering iron, right? Clean the end of the tip. I'm just like putting it in here and cleaning the end of the tip. So that turns it from that brass looking, you know, hard to stick solder onto a tip, you know, to something that looks, you know, a lot a lot better. Uh, or a little better at least, at least functional enough to get some solder on it and do the job correctly. All right, so I just got a little stick of solder here and uh, and we're going to start. The first thing you want to do, if you see what we did here, is this and this. These are tape. This is tape. So when you line the home flex cable up with the, uh, with the connectors on the already existing digitizer that you're going to solder it to, tape it. So that it sticks. That's the thing that a lot of these other these other uh, tutorials are missing. Like once you get it on, figure out a way to tape it so that it stays there. Because aligning it 100% correctly means everything. And it's the difference between it working and not working. So tape it. Okay. Um. So now that it's taped on, here's the home flex cable. Right. This is the home flex cable. It's taped on. <clears throat> um. We're gonna start. So uh, for this, you know, contrary to the IC chip. Um, instead of getting solder onto the end of the tip, what really works for me is just to take the soldering, st you know, stick or, or line, line of solder, a bit of solder, okay? It's going to be hard. I'm trying to, like, reach my hands in here to do it right. I got this thing here propping up the camera, but, uh, but I'll do the best I can. Let me see if you can still see that. Okay, yeah, you can still see that. Okay, so take this, and you're basically just going to gently lay the solder on top of, on top of these connectors here. And then I'm going to burn it so that the solder comes off. And then I'm just going to, like, in a, in, a, in, a, in a one swift motion, I'm going to go from right to left and spread this solder across these connections. All right? Okay. So I got the first two. So that, that hit. Sometimes if you want to make sure that it totally went through, you can just grab it and just push down on it. Just push down on it twice like that. And so I'm pretty sure those connections hit and we're good, but we'll test it after. All right, so now we're going to go on to the next couple. We got those first, you know, as you see the silver, you got, got those first solder points hit. Then we're going to move on. Okay, the solder's trying to stick. Okay. So now we got four of them done. Just gonna move on. See now I can just take it and push it. And one nice motion. Now we got what appears to be eight of them, and the last one is probably not good enough. So we're gonna just place the solder right there, place the soldering iron on it, and see if we can get that last one soldered up. All right, we got it. So we got some solder on it. We're good to go. And I think all of these are, in fact, good. Okay, so let me pick it up and bring it up so you can see what's going on. I think the important thing to know, you know, the important thing to pay attention to is, you know, the motion, the exact motion that I just used, you know, once I put the solder on. You know, for, I think, people who are beginning with solder, the challenge is really in identifying how you're supposed to move the soldering iron and how you take solder from a sod from a line of solder, 
put it on the actual end of the, the soldering iron and then distribute it throughout the device. You know, it becomes it becomes extremely difficult if you don't have sort of the hand technique. Just like all iOS devices, it's like you have to have a, a hand technique and it's not uh, it's not able to totally crystallize as we move up. But you can see that all these points are hit up and now this thing is soldered. Alright, so step one, tape the freaking home flex cable to the digitizer so that you can keep it aligned the way that it needs to be and everything's in order. Uh, you know, step two uh, get you know get some solder, hold the solder, hold the solder to the beginning points with the soldering iron, and then step three, take the soldering iron, and I'm trying to you know fix my lighting so you can actually see what's going on. Sorry about the horrible lighting, but you you, you hopefully can see the techniques that we're using. And then once you get it on there and the soldering iron is heated, you spread it across and uh, even touch the points. Make sure you even sort of touch the points if you want to make sure the points are, are totally on there. So that's it, folks. Uh, the best of luck in doing this. Get yourself a good soldering iron. Again, use the uh, the IU937 Plus. It's pretty awesome. comes with an entire station where you can change the temperature digitally. It's pretty great. It also comes with this thing that cleans the tip. And it also comes with another, you know, you like wipe your solder in there. It sort of cleans, cleans the, the tip off of, of solder. Um, and that's it. So we'll do the digitizer in another video. But here's the thing: everybody, uh, I, correction. There, there's like there's like three companies in the United States doing this right now um, that 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 are actually competent enough to do it. And so there's not many of them. And and we're probably cheaper than everybody else. So listen, if you don't know how to solder, or if you don't want to try it, it'll take a couple tries for you to learn. If you've never touched a soldering iron, it could take you a month to learn trying on many many devices and messing IC chips up. Then just send it to us. You know, just just purchase a repair online. We'll send you a shipping label and you can email it to us, uh, or I mean mail it to us rather, and then we'll get it done and, uh, and, and have it shipped back out to you. Uh, if you are uh, going to try this, then uh, get yourself a good soldering iron and watch the tutorial a couple times and really take deliberate time and deliberate hand movements and a lot of patience and do it very, very slow and make sure you hit all the points and get it done. Again, we'll be doing a, a tutorial on how to solder the digitizer to the IC chip soon, and we'll put it up as soon as we can. Hey, thanks a lot for watching, and the best of luck. See ya.